Jeremy, thank you. Topeka's YMCA is building back a strong series of programs for the fall and winter months. After a challenging few years, Branch CEO Alexis Hill is here to update us on the situation. Alexis, welcome. Hi, thanks for having me. And it's no secret, the Y has said it has been tough during COVID. You lost memberships. So a year ago, it came out that the building was listed for sale. And the Y had said, we're trying to raise money so that we can buy it back and, and actually own it from the bondholders. What is the status of that now here a little bit more than a year later? Yeah, absolutely. So our most recent update is that the bids closed October 31st. The Y has put in a bid for the building, but at this point we are still waiting to hear any news. So that is where we stand. I think the most important thing to remember is that, you know, even if we didn't get the building, which we have high hopes that we will, um, the Topeka Y will still be in the community. We're not going anywhere. It just might look a little bit different for a little while. And some people might be a little confused by that. So if you could explain, you're technically leasing it from the city of Topeka right now. Correct. Um, it was built with bonds. And so COVID hit, it was a really hard time and it was an agreement that we would go ahead and attempt to, uh, we'd have to break that bond agreement and go ahead and the building would be put up for sale. Um, the Y is allowed to be a bidder, just like anybody else, and our goal is to keep that building going strong. We've been operating out of it for 22 years, and we really just want to keep going where we're at and growing and developing all of our new programs and pushing forward. And there are a lot of programs. You have a busy month ahead. So one of the things that you actually yeah. started here in September were Friday Family Fun Nights. Yeah, what are those yeah. all about? Family Fun Fridays. Okay. So Family Fun Friday, um, we ask that families come in, we give you a safe place to hang out, you could do something such as a family fitness class together, or it could be uh, art and crafts. Uh, we're doing some bingo this Friday, so anybody's welcome to come on in. Um, it is free for all Y members, and it does cost non-members $15 a family. Um, they get to come in, three free games of bingo. There's some great prizes involved, and we'll have some goodies for sale that several of our uh, fantastic Y members are making. Um, so we'll have a little, little tiny bake sale, not a huge one at this point. Um, <laughs> And then it could be cookie decorating. In the past uh, October, we had um, Qigong with paint, which was absolutely fantastic. Yeah, it was So $15 really cool. for the whole family to come and just have yes. some quality time together. Yes, absolutely. absolutely. And that is just one event. That's on Fridays. Yeah. Every Friday, come out and do that in the evening. But you also have a bingo fundraiser that's going to be right. happening on Veterans Day. Yes, so that will happen on Veterans Day, uh, 2 to 3.30. It's going to be $10 for 10 games or $20 for 20 games. Um, great prizes again and just trying to raise general funds um, for the sponsorships. We sponsor a lot of individuals and so any little bit of fundraising that we can do just helps us keep keep allowing more families to be sponsored. A lot of people know the why for their sports programs and you have a couple of those things on tap. Basketball, what do yeah. families need to know if, if they want to get involved in a basketball clinic? Absolutely, so our basketball clinic is November 19th. Um, we have two different age groups, kindergarten through third grade and fourth through sixth. Um, it's just going to be a very beginner intro basketball clinic. So we're not looking for our, our basketball superstars. We're definitely looking at those who are trying to discover that passion and learn basketball. Um, you can register for that online at our website, ymcatopeka.org. Um, I mean, other than that, we're just excited. It's, it's been a little while since we've yeah. had some sports there, and so we're really excited to get that going again. You also have information online about swimming scholarships, but there's an event December 3rd I want you to explain. Underwater yeah. Santa picks. What, we just dive in the pool and hold our breath and get a photo, or what's going on there? Absolutely. So <laughs> what happens is I have some fantastic volunteers coming from the Mission Fire Department. They are going to be scuba Santas. And so ah. with that, um, it's going to be a fundraiser to help us sponsor kids for swimming lessons in 2024. And you will go underwater. You can dress in your Christmas jammies. You can um, wear whatever you want, right? So swimsuit, jammies, <laughs> absolutely anything. You're gonna break anything. all of the rules yeah. for the underwater Santa Totally pick. excited. You what can... is the fee for the Santa pictures? So it is $10 for YMCA members, $20 for non-members. Um, it'll be a 15 minute session. Anybody who can submerge for a couple seconds is welcome to participate. Young children, we're going to ask that the parents have discretion, and we will have lifeguards and swim instructors on standby as well, well to make sure lot, that everything is safe. A lot is going yeah. on. I have that whole schedule posted on WIBW.com. And Alexis, please do keep us updated on what Thank is you. happening with the building as the Y moves forward. Absolutely. Thank you so Thank much. You Appreciate so much. you being here. Thanks for having me. A